Hello, this is Khurram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khurram and uh, our last this topic is actually the extension of the last lecture and we have discussed about the e metropization in the last lecture. We have discussed that what is actually the e metropization and what are the different types of the e metropization. We have discussed about uh, the active and passive e metropization right and we have learned that the first year of life from uh, newly born to one year of life that infancy life is actually the rapid uh, emetropization life right uh, we know very well that in cornea the plus power is uh, maximum the in lens the plus power is maximum when uh, the patient is newly born right the, when the person is newly born when he is just delivered from the mother's womb right the plus power is maximum at that time right and the exit length is so small right so that power will reduce uh, frequently and progressively uh, from newly born to one years of age group for two three four five six and seven years of age group right and the exit length will increase right we have discussed in detail and this lecture is about the refraction and prescription uh, in different refractive errors in different age groups like from uh, from newly born to one years of age group right from one year to three years of age group from three years to five and seven and eight years of age group and so on right so in this video specifically we will discuss about the hypermetropia right as we have discussed as we have learned that when a baby delivers uh, from his mother's womb he will be right this is normal he will be uh, a hyperope right uh, he could be of hyperopia of plus two diopters or three four five or uh, six diopters right there must be hyperopia of blood plus two to six diopters in newly born right and this is a normal value we have learned about it and now in this video we are going to learn about different parameters in hypermetropia like what is actually the indications of a hyperop patient right what are different clinical features uh, in a hyperopic patient like what is what are the symptoms and what are the signs in uh, hyperopic patients right and what are different classifications and, and categories in hypermetropia right so before learning about uh, uh, the emetropization or before dealing with the patient of emetropization you must have uh, some sort of questions in your mind and what is that question and the question is the prescription you are giving to your patient right which is facing uh, who is facing actually the emetropization uh, either that prescription is beneficial for him or not this is very important question right and the second question is that that prescription which you are pres prescribing your patient in emetropization in the age of emetropization is that prescription manipulating or changing the emetropi emetropization process or not these questions are very important now let's discuss about the classifications in hypermetropia and first there are three different categories first one is called the low myopia sorry the low hypermetropia so low hypermetropia is up to plus two diopters right it could be 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 1.5 1 1.75 and 2 so 2 or less than 2 hypermetropia will be low uh, hypermetropia and the moderate the second one is called the moderate hypermetropia and moderate hypermetropia is from plus 2 to 5 diopters right this is moderate myopia and then uh, high myop high I'm loving myopia actually high hypermetropia so from plus 5 and so on more than plus 5 will be high hypermetropia so these are three different categories so high low myopia low hypermetropia actually uh, is up to plus 2 diopters moderate it's from 2.25 to 5 diopters and high myopia is up to 5 and more than 5 hypermetropic value will be high hypermetropia so these are different classifications and categories of hypermetropia and now we will discuss about the different clinical features uh, in hypermetropia different signs and symptoms in hypermetropia so the first one is called the squinting and rubbing of the eyes right and the second one is you it can be uh, the frequent blinking in eyes and uh, the third one uh, could be the low school performance it could be the sign in hypermetropia right and avoidance of near work the hyperopic patient will face difficulties in reading right because loss of accommodation right because the hyperopic patient uh, uses his accommodation at distance right so there is nothing at near 
to work on right so these are different signs and remember that the hypermetropia could be asymptomatic this is very um, a complex thing that uh, you you could be hypero but without any symptoms right this is very uh, lethal thing this is very dangerous thing and now we will discuss about the effects of hypermetropia in different age groups like we will discuss first of all we will discuss uh, from newly born to one year of age group that age is called the infancy age group right so if the age is from the if, if the age is from newly born to one year if the infancy age is there and you find deviation right and the next portion is no deviation if there is no deviation and the defective error is hypermetropia so and hypermetropia is isometropic this is important thing remember this is very important point we which we are going to learn about so our refractive error is hypermetropia and which hypermetropia our hypermetropia is isometropic you know very well that what is isometropia and what is an isometropia if the prescription in the both eyes are the same is the same that is called isometropia iso means same and if the prescription if the refraction in both eyes is different that is called an isometropia so we have our refractive error is hypermetropia and our uh, um, type of hypermetropia is isometropic hypermetropia right so we have refraction uh, but the diffraction is the same in the both eyes right so hypermetropia got plus power the deficiency of plus power and which type isometropia the power the plus power in, the deficiency of the plus power is the same in the both eyes right and age of the patient is from zero to one year and for example patient is with deviation and patient is with no deviation then how we are going to deal with that kind of patient right so for example if you find hypermetropia and hypermetropia is isometropic patient has refraction the same refraction in the both eyes right and patient got deviation as well and deviation is iso remember deviation is iso then you will prescribe the full correction full cycloplegic refraction you will perform full cycloplegic refraction you will instill the cyclopin drops in the patient's eye you will paralyze accommodation of that patient and you will prescribe the full correction after that so deviation is there and deviation is iso in that case you will perform full cycloplegic refraction and you will prescribe full correction to the patient to avoid any deviation right so in that case we will ignore the emetropization right to save the patient from the deviation so if there is no deviation and refractive error is plus 5 or more than plus 5 remember that this is important point so our patient is hyperope but isometropic hyperope right diffraction is same in the both eyes but the prescription is plus 5 right then you will prescribe correction prescribe him correction but how much prescription only two third of the prescription right if prescription is plus five you will prescribe him two by third right for example you can you can prescribe him plus two or plus 2.5 in both eyes right so full correction is plus five right there is no any deviation and after the refraction you got plus 5 of hyper hypermetropia then you will prescribe the prescription right but how much prescription two third prescription if the number is prescription is plus 5 you will prescribe plus 2 or plus 2.5 right so this is but if there is uh, hypermetropia but lower than the plus 5 like plus 1 2 3 3.5 or 4 you will not prescribe any prescription and if you prescribe in that case if you prescribe the uh, the prescription in in that case right you will disturb the emetropization right and you will make the patient to wear glasses the whole life 
so this is very important point again i will repeat it so if age is from zero to one year refractive error is hypermetropia and which hypermetropia isometropic what does it mean if the refraction is the same in the both eyes so we have two different cases one is one patient is with deviation and other patient is without any deviation right so with deviation if the deviation is iso you will prescribe a full correction but after cycloplegia right so to avoid any deviation right but in that in that case if the hypermetropia is the same in the both eyes for example plus one here and plus one here you will not prescribe any prescription if plus two is here plus two is here you will not prescribe any prescription if three is here three is here you will not if four is here four is here you will not prescribe any prescription but if the prescription is plus five or more than plus five then you will prescribe the prescription you will prescribe the glasses spectacles but how much you will prescribe two-third of that prescription two-third of the five like it could be plus two or plus two point five and now we will discuss about the a different type of hypermetropia so our patient is age is the same zero to one years refractive error is hypermetropia but now this hypermetropia is not isometropic now this is an isometropia now this is an isometropia now right now if the anisometropia is less than two diopters so less than two diopters if hypermetropia is less than two diopters there is no any need to prescribe any glasses right i remember if hypermetropia is an isometropia and an isometropia is less than two diopters it could be one 1.5 or two right if the an isometropia is less than two diopters then there is no any need to prescribe any glasses any spectacles any lens right but if the an isometropia is more than 2.5 right more than 2.5 then what will we do more than 2.5 diopters so in the in that case we have two different options for example we have an isometropia more than 2.5 we have an isometropia but more than 2.5 right and in that case 2.5 so we have two different patients one is hyperopia but an isometropic hypermetropia and that patient has an isometropia more than 2.5 diopters right but that patient is with deviation and the next one is he also has the hyperopic anisometropia and his or her anisometropia is more than 2.5 diopters but with no deviation so we have two different cases right now so if there is hypermetropia of uh, or you can say the anisometropia which is uh, more than 2.5 diopters and that patient is with deviation and we will prescribe full correction we will prescribe full hyperopic and isometropic correction if the patient is with deviation right but if there is if there is hypermetropia hypermetropic and isometropia and an isometropia is uh, you can say uh, more than 2.5 diopters then we will prescribe but patient is with no deviation then we will prescribe partial deviation sorry partial prescription i'll repeat again for example the patient's age is from 0 to 1 years patient is of hypermetropia but which hypermetropia patient is an isometropic hyperopic right patient has hypermetropia but the refraction in the both eyes is different for example if the hyperopia sorry the anisometropia is less than two diopters in the both eyes right so we will not going to prescribe any prescription right again repeat I'll, I'll repeat again if there is hypermetropia or anisometropia right if there is an isometropia but less than two diopters we do not prescribe any spectacles any lens but if anisometropia is more than 2.5 diopters with deviation and if anisometropia is 2.5 more than 2.5 diopters without any deviation what will we do now so if there is more anisometropia more than 2.5 diopters with deviation we will prescribe full correction in that case right for example if patient has prescription of plus 2 in right eye 
एंड प्लस फाइव इन लेफ्ट आई विद डेविएशन बट दिस पेशेंट इज विद डेविएशन देन यू कैन सी देर इज डिफरेंस ऑफ प्लस थ्री राइट सो इन दैट केस पेशेंट हैज टू टू डायोप्टर्स इन राइट आई प्लस फाइव डायोप्टर्स इन लेफ्ट आई पेशेंट इज हाइपरोप बट एन आइसोमेट्रोपिक राइट एंड द डिफरेंस ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन इज प्लस थ्री बट पेशेंट इज विद डेविएशन एंड इन दैट इन दैट केस वी विल प्रिस्क्राइब द फुल साइक्लोप्लेजिक रिफ्रैक्शन राइट बट इन दैट केस इफ पेशेंट इज एन आइसोमेट्रोपिया इज मोर देन टू पॉइंट फाइव डायोप्टर्स विद बट विदाउट एनी डेविएशन देन विल प्रिस्क्राइब ओनली अ पार्शियल प्रिस्क्रिप्शन एंड वट इज द वे टू प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर एग्जाम्पल if in the right eye in the right eye for example patient has plus 2 and in the left eye patient got plus 5 prescription so you can see the difference is of plus 3 more or less right and now we will prescribe but there is no any deviation in the in that case so if there is no any deviation in that case we will prescribe partial prescription how partial prescription because this is plus 2 right partial mean half so in the in that case we will prescribe plus 1 and in that case we will prescribe plus 2 or plus 2.5 so we prescribe him the partial prescription in both eyes partial in that case partial in that case partial in half yeah right so we will prescribe half in that case and half in this eye so this is the way to prescribe hyperopic and isometropic prescription with deviation and without deviation i hope this is clear and now let's uh, discuss an other age group uh, in hypermetropia for example we have patient we are discussing hypermetropia and patient is isometropic hypermet hypermetropic right so our patient is isometropic and refraction is the same in the both eyes so remember that if hypermetropia is there and prescription is the same in the both eyes and if there is deviation as well for example this is deviated eye and deviation is iso right so how much we will prescribe we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction full cycloplegic correction in that case remember this right so we will instill the cyclopin drops we will instill the uh, cyclopin drugs in the patient's eye the accommodation will be relaxed will be paralyzed and we will prescribe the full correction in the patient's eyes right in terms of glasses in terms of spectacles right so but if the patient is if deviation is there we will prescribe full correction if patient is hyperopic but isometropic hyperopic right refraction is the same and there is no any there is no any concept of deviation in the patient's eye then what will we do we will prescribe if if the prescription is less than 3.5 plus if there is prescription of less than 3.5 diopters we are not going to prescribe any prescription we just call the patients on follow ups we will take care of the compliance on follow ups that's it right but we will not prescribe any prescription if there is no any deviation and if we prescribe him any prescription then we will we can manipulate the emetropization process we can disturb the um, emetropize e e emetropization right so remember it and but if the prescription is more than plus 3.5 if the prescription is more than plus 3.5 what will we do then we will prescribe a partial correction for example we have plus 4 in that eye and plus 4 in that eye because the hypermetropia is isometropic right then we will prescribe a partial correction right and how much partial correction or 2 by 3 pre prescription it could be of uh, plus 2 more or less and here plus 2 also more or less you can reduce you can increase uh, in terms of uh, the patient's severity right and patient's condition and patient's age right so again i will repeat if age is from 1 to 3 years patient is of hypermetropia but which hypermetropia uh, isometropic hypermetropia right and if deviation is there and deviation is esotropia then we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction right and if there is no any deviation and 
hypermetropia is less than 3.5 then we will we will not prescribe any prescription right and if there is no any deviation but hypermetropia is more than 3.5 then we will prescribe partial correction in that case right so now let's discuss about the hyperopia but with an isometropia and now we have hyperopic patient but an isometropic the patient is an isometropia right so an isometropia you know very well an isometropia different correction in the both eyes so if so remember that if an isometropia is less than plus two if an isometropia is less than plus two in both eyes then there is no need to prescribe any glasses to the patient if an isometropia is less than two diopters it could be 0.5 it could be one it could be 1.5 or two up to two right if there is an isometropia two or less than two there is no any need to prescribe any spectacles any glasses right but if an isometropia is more than two diopters if an isometropia is more than two diopters right but in which cases if patient, if deviation is there two diopters more than two diopters i must say more than two diopters more than two diopters so if an isometropia is more than two diopters but with deviation and if an isometropia is more than two diopters but without any deviation so if anisometropia is more than two diopters with deviation with deviation we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction full cycloplegic correction apart from it how much anisometropia is there we will prescribe full correction if deviation is there right but if there is no deviation and anisometropia is more than two diopters then we will prescribe partial correction how let's make a scenario for example patient is hyperop and in the right eye prescription is plus two in the right eye and in the left eye prescription is plus um you can say five so you can see right eye plus two left eye plus five right so there is an isometropia more than a 2.5 is almost 3 so we will prescribe partial correction how much if this is plus 2 we will prescribe plus 1 if this is plus 5 we will prescribe plus 2.5 right and why we are doing this we are actually avoiding the manipulation or changing in the e metropization process we are not going to change we are not going to manipulate any e metropization normal physiological process right so that's why we will prescribe partial correction in that case and now the age of the patient is from three years to six years right and remember that now the patient is hyperopic but which hyperopic isometropic hyperopic and age of the patient is from three to six years with deviation and without deviation for example if patient is with deviation we will prescribe full cycloplegic refraction if the prescription is more than 1.5 diopters right so if the prescription in the both eyes plus 1.5 or plus 1.5 in the both eyes or more than that right and deviation is there we will prescribe full cycloplegic refraction right so if there is no any deviation and if the prescription is less than 2.5 diopters if refraction in the both eyes less than 2.5 diopters right then there is no need to prescribe any glasses but if there is uh, prescription of more than 2.5 diopters we will prescribe partial correction for example we have in this eye we have plus 5 in the right eye and plus 5 in the left eye then we will prescribe the partial correction we will prescribe plus 2.5 or 2 here and plus 2 or 2.5 in the left eye so again i repeat if the patient's age is 3 to 6 years patient is hypermetropic and which hypermetropic isometropic hyperopic and if deviation is there and that is ESO, then we will prescribe full cycloplegic refraction if 
the prescription in the both eyes after cycloplegia is more than 1.5 right but if there is no any deviation and conditions are the same so if the prescription is 2.5 or less than 2.5 then we will prescribe no any prescription but if refraction is more than 2.5 then we will prescribe partial correction right so now we will discuss about the hyperopic and isometropia now if the patient's age is 3 to 6 years patient is hypermetropic and which one an isometropic hypermetropia right and if an isometropia is up to 1.5 diopters or less than 1.5 diopters we will not prescribe any prescription right how much an isometropia 1.5 diopters if an isometropia if difference in refraction in the both eyes is plus 1.5 or less than 1.5 we will not prescribe any prescription in that case right but if deviation is there with the same an isometropic value uh, the deviation is there and iso is there then we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction full cycloplegic correction if anisometropia is 1.5 right and with the deviation then we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction if there is no any deviation and anisometropia is more than 1.5 diopters is more than 1.5 diopters then we will prescribe partial correction we will prescribe partial correction in that case now i will repeat very briskly so if the age of the patient is 3 to 6 years patient is hypermetropic and which one an isometropic hypermetropia so if an isometropia is up to 1.5 diopters or less than 1.5 diopters then we will not prescribe any glasses any spectacles but if deviation is there in the patient and an isometropia is more than 1.5 diopters then we will prescribe full cycloplegic correction if deviation is there if there is no any deviation and anisometropia is more than 1.5 diopters then we will prescribe partial correction so now we will discuss about a different age group now and that is six or more than six six years of age right so patient is hypermetropic and which one isometropia if isometropia is there in that specific age group six or more than six seven six seven eight nine ten right so if patient is six or more than the six years of age group and patient is hypermetropic with and with isometropia and if isometropia is more than 1.5 diopters isometropia if isometropia is more than 1.5 diopters then we will prescribe correction if less than 1.5 diopters there is no any need to prescribe right to avoid any disturbance in the emetropization right and if an isometropia is there now the anisometropia is there patient is hyperopic but with anisometropia and if anisometropia is one or more than one if isometropia and isometropia sorry is one or more than one then we will prescribe the correction in that years of age group so we have discussed many important things like we have discussed about hypermetropia but in terms of isometropia and an isometropia in different age groups like from uh, 0 to 1 years of age group from 1 to 3 years of age group from 3 to 6 years of age group and from 6 to onward of uh, years of the age of the patient uh, so in the very next video we will learn about the same things uh, and isometropia isometropia in different age groups but in terms of myopia so if you want to learn about the myopia you can click in that video